Um, we've been trying to, de to develop um, positive relationships between staff and children and we've, t we've totally changed our practice. Um, the core group initially started to look at this um, and the awareness, raising awareness of the importance of body language and facial expressions. So one of the things that we would do now is rather than single a child out in front of other children, we would have a quiet word with the child about their behaviour and, and how we can move forward together, what's expected of them. So children who display distress behaviour, possibly from something that's maybe happened in the playground um, where they have behaved in a particular way that they shouldn't have, um, they might be too angry and too emotional to discuss it there and then and we've seen a, a total turnaround in the way that staff deal with that and they recognise that it's not always the time to deal with it there and then, that the child needs that time to regulate their emotions, um, the adult does too um, and we would often we would often wait a while and speak, help to maybe help the child, the child to self-regulate um, but also have the difficult conversation afterwards about what went wrong, what was the, the consequence of their behaviour on the, on the other individual perhaps and, and then we turn it round as to how can we repair them, the relationship um, uh, who, of who they've been uh, maybe in a fight with or whatever then how can we repair that relationship with the other child. Staff are modelling positive relationships and staff are aware of the importance of modelling positive relationships and building positive relationships with children because this is a really important element of helping children to buffer any stress or um, any trauma that they have in their life. Um, also concentrating on the repair element of the relationship because all relationships break down but we try to model relationships so that we're significantly looking at how we repair things. So within a couple of our bases we, we, have team, we do team teaching and sometimes we have set up failures that might happen just so we can model the repair in that relationship. We're encouraged to think about what the hidden need is behind the behaviour and think about why they're displaying the behaviour they are. So we like to use the analogy, we get curious, not furious, um, which has been the change in mindset. And also thinking about what has, not what is wrong with the child, but what's happened to this child to help them, for this behaviour to be happening and what can we do to support them further.